I'm Christina Andronopoulos. And I'm psychic medium Catherine Glass. It's so great to have you here. I know. I mean, girlfriend, you've been flying all over the world. <laughs> you've been going to Hollywood, not Hollywood, but Hollywood. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is great. Well, we're going to hear some wonderful things about what you're doing, oh, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, sure. You know me. I love to share. Great. <laughs> Well, we have a fantastic show. Yes, we and do. And we have a great guest that you brought on. It's yes. like kind of like a cohort that you work together. Yeah, you know, she's like, a colleague and a dear friend nice. and a very gifted medium. I'm and, very excited. And her name is? Deborah Livingston. And she's coming to us from the North Shore. North Shore. That's great. Yep. She's a fabulous medium. And you guys are going to love her. I can't wait. I can't wait to speak to her here. Yeah. And then, as usual, we'll do an on-air reading. We have a lucky, lucky guest. Her name is Deb. And she's She's been really reaching out for months and months and months, so she's meant for her to have a reading. But tonight we're doing something very special. Yes. We're going to have the two psychics do it. Yes. You're going to do this her. Gonna get a lot of information. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So we're going to we're going to do that. It'll be kind of like a, a gallery, but there'll only be one, two one, mediums and one guest. guest. This will be interesting. Let's try that. That'll be, be great. Yeah. But you know, we couldn't do this without our sponsors. No. Of course, we have Commerce Bank. Thank you, Commerce, for supporting local television for yes. the last seven years. Thanks so much. And Duddy, I know you were hurt, and I hope you're better. And we're going to send healing powers after okay. the show's done, right? Yep, okay. healing to Duddy. Okay. Yep. And then there's TJ Woods Insurance, who handles all your insurance needs. And mm -hmm. we're so glad about them supporting us for seven years. Because yep. you know what? Anybody can be a sponsor. It's a small donation. Yep. And you can keep these great shows on and have great guests like Deb and Catherine and Chris yes, Fisher and you want all the others. Six Sense and Beyond, just write us. Let us right. know. And then your wonderful husband runs a healing yep. essence center. Healing Essence Center in Concord, Massachusetts. It's acupuncture, Ayurvedic medicine, nutritional counseling, psychic reading, energy healing, mediumship, your one stop shop. And then, of course, there's the YMCA. YMCA. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and, of course, YMCA is doing so much, and they're going into their summer camp. Best summer ever. Oh, so yeah. we're great. Summer we summer. love supporting not-for-profits, and especially ones that deal with a lot of families and children, too. It's a wonderful and they, organization. Absolutely. And they offer scholarships, too. So if you know a family who can't afford a camp, they offer scholarships great. for camp, too. And then, of course, our favorite Julio's Liquor, Spirit, spirit Meets spirit. spirit. We love Ryan. Ryan has a show every Saturday morning. On from, radio. Yep, mm -hmm. from uh, 11 to 1. Mm -hmm. And he talks spirits speak just almost differently than yeah, you. Yeah, the other kind of spirits. They're the other kind where you taste <laughs> them and then they start speaking. <laughs> the drinky spirit. And his liquor store is in Westboro. And the we love spirits. you, Ryan. Yes. And, yeah. So, and I was going to say Larry Bird, but it's not. It's Randall Bird because he's as tall as Larry Bird. Oh, my God. To be, yeah. So, of course, Christian Ray, thank you so much for making us all look like celebrities stars, yep yes. add a curry motor and mm -hmm. sal joining two forces here in worcester well you know what it's time i think it's time okay dun, dun, dun. we're going to interview our wonderful guest deborah livingston hi deb hi deb hi. <laughs> thanks for having me great can you follow that <laughs> <laughs> of course she can she's not a goofball <laughs> <laughs> we didn't say she was a goofball but anyway deb you look the antith not the antithesis uh, Quintessential? Quintessential. Quintessential per, uh, psychic medium. You do. You're dressed beautifully. You look beautiful, just like Catherine. Oh, thank you. I think we all look smashing. <laughs> yes, I know. But <laughs> it's a fashion moment. But you guys. also have the gift. Us. Right. You also have the gift, and that's great. So can I just ask, I know Catherine knows a lot about you, mm -hmm. but can mm -hmm. I ask um, how you knew you had a gift? When did you know it? Well, first of all, what do you do? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm a psychic medium, mm -hmm. but I also do spiritual mentoring as well, and I'm an author. And I've also studied Chinese medicine, and which is all all energy, so it's the foundation of... It's a healer. Yes, mm -hmm. healer. Um, but to answer your question, I thought what I was experiencing as a child was very normal. I mean, mm -hmm. everybody's animals talk to them, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then you can be walking along and, you know... Don't call me crazy because I'm not no. just a psychic, but <laughs> I can hear nature too. Mm -hmm. And so growing up as a child, I just thought this was normal until I started telling my friends and then they made fun of me. So, And then did you shut it down? I didn't shut it ridiculed? down. No, I didn't shut it down. I shut it down probably in college when I was using my mind because I studied architecture mm -hmm. and worked for the city of Boston. So, so to be clear, mediumship 
for those of you listening, also encompasses, I mean, Deb speaks to loved ones who've crossed over, absolutely. I, I've actually worked with her, we work together, but um, it also includes angelic beings, unseen beings from the unseen realms, guides, nature spirits, plants, flowers, right. and divas, they're called nature spirits, and also animals. Your animals are communicating of as course. well, both in spirit and living. Right, Any, anything living or even not living um, has a consciousness and mm -hmm. a spirit. Rocks, trees, mm -hmm. the flowers, great. bees, the earth, <laughs> the earth. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's great. So, when did you come out of the wow. spiritual closet? When did I come out of the closet? <laughs> um, well, probably my late thirties when I left. Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but thank you. Um, <laughs> I came out of the closet uh, after leaving my high profile job as senior project manager for the city of Boston because I was in my mind, I was responsible for millions of dollars and, and then I just had this, I was called. I was in yoga one day and I just felt it. I was called, I had a spiritual transformation mm -hmm. and from then on out the universe just provided. That wow. is fantastic. Yeah. So yeah. she's got the corporate brain side yep. and the intuitive mediumistic side. So again, for all you listeners, mm -hmm. if you have a desire or an inkling to explore this part of your life and you've been in one you know, linear way of life for a long time, it doesn't mean you can't do both or go right. over to the other side. You right. Know? <laughs> yes, <laughs> correct, correct. And I, I also know why you were probably called. You know, this is what my sense is, that you were called because working a high-profile position, mm -hmm. you, you build some credibility, especially a woman in a high-profile position. So when you're called to now let go of your gifts or just release them, then you can relate to high-profile people who may need that spiritual opening but will not go because sometimes the psychic realm gets the bad rap, rap or they're afraid what their friends or colleagues or associates will think if they right. see someone like you. Right. Do you get a lot of like corporate mainstream people in the business world coming to see you? I, well I had one just last night um, but getting back to what you just said I, I don't think that I ever it, it never went anywhere because I always could sense people's energy. It was just veiled mm -hmm. so that I could use my mind. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, spirit steps back when you're busy doing something which, which is part of your soul plan and right. that was part of my soul plan had to be done. Mm -hmm. That is great. I love the way you said that too. And it's when we have different guests here, every every one of them has a very similar experience to you about hiding it after you know childhood and then either coming out or being able to unveil it but it's really great the way that you said it because to you you just described that you have a soul plan and that was part of your soul plan mm -hmm. so it's really wonderful to know and to can you elaborate a little bit about like a soul plan for those who may not really comprehend what a soul plan is well my experience and my understanding is that and I'm not into Akashic records or anything like that, but I do believe in past lives, that our soul family, if you will, we all get together when we're in the spiritual realm and we make these um, plans. Sometimes we sacrifice for each other uh, and pass before another one does so that we can um, help each other's spiritual soul evolve, mm -hmm. continue to evolve, and it's all through human experience here in the school of earth and outer life experiences mm -hmm. so no matter where you are in life even this particular moment we're right where we're supposed to be absolutely yeah it's that's true. that's it's really, really a, great. a, a, a it's way a destiny. to calm yourself and to understand and trust that you're on track mm -hmm. and that's really christina one reason i find and probably you do too deb with your practice that's why people come and have readings. They just they just want reassurance that they're on track. That they're on track. Answers, and some mm -hmm. answers too because I know that things happen and you go, why is this happening to me? And, and a lot of people go because they want answers mm -hmm. about maybe the essentials of life, you mm -hmm. know, career, or right. money, decisions. love, decisions. Yeah. And once those answers get answered, I mean questions get answered, then maybe they can open up themselves without worrying about that. Mm -hmm. Because you, you know what happens when you sit and worry about well, things. Well you shut you shut down the energy flow of what's right. meant to unfold for you when you're when you're frozen. You know, you need right. to open and, and trust, really trust. And it's right. very good to have communication I think with your absolutely, guides. Absolutely, absolutely. But also too, <laughs> even if you shut down, um, that's meant to be. Yeah. Because your destination is here, but it doesn't matter which route you take. That's right. right. It's not like a straight shot. It's right. 
<laughs> exactly. I mean, you can, you can take go. either one of those to get to a destination. Absolutely. It's, it's almost true. like making a decision to go to California, and you have different ways to get there, and That's you could right. be climbing the mountains. Or, or you can mountains. go down through the south. Right, or you can take an airplane or whatever, <laughs> you know. Or walk. <laughs> or walk, right. Some people do walk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they keep walking and walking and walking. But I want to um, mm -hmm. ask you, Deb, about how you feel about your, your calling, if you will, to... 100% devote yourself to this because I know a little bit about you. Share about, you know, your background, your training, how hard you work at this. Well, you're never really there is right. first and foremost. And ethics and values and trust and acceptance are probably my, my biggest go-to tools. And, you know, ego, there's no room for. It's all heart. And so I continue my studies every year. I go to the Arthur Finley College, which you're familiar with, Catherine. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, they, they have the best mediums and tutors mm -hmm. in the entire world. They'll blow your socks off. <laughs> Where is this again? It's in, in England, England. Oh, the that's Arthur great. Finley College. Yeah. Wow. So I have, I have a lot of teachers also that are in the spirit world, like Edgar Cayce and right. Arthur Finley himself, and Gordon Higginson mm -hmm. would be my favorite. Um, but just the spiritual phenomena and the energy that's there raises me to a place wow. that's bliss yeah, for amazing. like six it's months. It's amazing. I'm getting chills just well, talking even, about it. You know, <laughs> you're we're talking, going together <laughs> this summer. Good. Well, talking, talking about on your, on your level of, of growth mm -hmm. and now um, teaching and mm -hmm. also sharing your gifts with people, yeah. that, but for us, the lay people who may have some intuition, may have a lot, a little bit, just going to a meditation circle or Absolutely. a drum circle, that oh, God, does yes. that for us. So mm -hmm. I can imagine, but any kind of career or education, you have to continue the education to always. stay fresh and all right. that. Yeah. There's but, always different tools and techniques to get closer to yes. spirit yes. because it's not them moving away, right. it's right. us. Right. right, exactly. Well, we're going to have to take a quick break, but we'll be back, so don't go away. Don't go away yet because we're doing the Psychic Challenge. Psychic Challenge! Yay! So, let's, <laughs> why do, can you help us, Deb? Of course. Of course. Okay. My so pleasure. Blingy, blingy. We have, okay, we have three objects as we always do, and then we're going to let Deb, our guest today, pick it and send it out to you. Okay, so Deb, so very simply, just imagine, we don't know what it is, oh. so we're going to have to guess too, right? Yeah. Oh, so if you get it, <laughs> then that means your intuition's tuning in. If you don't, then keep working on it, all right? All right. So Deb, take a second and send it out. Oh, it's out. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll take more time so that many people can guess. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so... Good. Just tell us when. Oh, I'm good. Yeah. You're good? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, she did. So was it the beautiful glass, green glass, Don't or the sparkly it. bling? Don't say it. Or this nice little case. Okay. But we're going to find out after the psychic reading. Right. Terrific. Okay. All right. Well, thanks so much, and we'll be right back. Don't go away. Let's Sixth Sense and Beyond, where we open the spiritual world to the world. And this is the part of the show where we do our on-air reading with a lucky guest who has um, written in and asked to be read. And here she is. Her name is Deb. And Deb <laughs> and Deb and Catherine. Deb and Catherine are going to read Deb together, which is different and new and really fun. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Double linking is always fun. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, hi, Deb. Hi. Hi, Deb. <laughs> hi. So um, I know that there is a gentleman coming through in the spirit world for you, and um, he is definitely a father. Mm -hmm. And and I know that he's got his mother with him. Okay, yeah. That's as yeah. much as I know. Yep. And I know that he talks about you having a brother. Yes. He also talks about your two children. Okay, yeah. He, yeah, he talks about your two children. His grandchildren. And your brother um, does ha also have children? Yes. Because he's oh, yeah. showing me a circle of little ones mm. around. Your dad. Okay. But I also know because um, dad's kind of on one side and mom's on the other. Uh, his mom's on the other. So I know she would have been somewhat strict with him. Do you understand this? Yes. 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 So, and, and his also, mom. his yeah. mom, yeah. Okay. yeah. Grandma was yeah. very strict with dad. Um, and so, therefore, I feel like he, he would have carried that down a little bit to his children. Yeah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> little militant. Yes. And, yeah. and you yeah. look like dad. Yes. I do. Yes. Yes. yes, everyone says yes. that. Yes, you yeah, do. Everyone right says around that. here. Yeah. It's like your father. Oh. Yeah. Yes. The hair, the oh. eyes. Yes. And I'm getting a few names that I need to mention that he's acknowledging a name like Ginny or Jeannie. Jeannie sound, Ginny. 
Ginny Genie, mm -hmm. and I'm also hearing a Michael that I have to acknowledge because he's giving that to me. And if you don't can't place them now, think about it. Because I can place the Michael. Yes. You can. Okay. Yeah. And um, also, hmm, like a Kara, Caroline, Carolyn, Kara, somebody. Well, I'm 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 hearing a, um, a, a Rob, a Robbie, or Richard. Oh, his brother. Okay. Yeah. And that and his brother is with him and Spirit no, is here. No, they okay. were very very close. So he's mm -hmm. here. So love to Richie. Right. Like, Absolutely. Let him know oh, well, that he's cry. that he's thinking of him. <laughs> yes, and there's and talking mm -hmm. about a family gathering. Uh, was there an Easter thing that went on? He a passed big? on Easter. Thank you. Because yeah. I'm getting the Easter, Easter Sunday. The Easter yeah. big gathering was important. So he just passed. Wow. He just passed? Two years oh, ago. Okay. So yeah, say, no. He's doing really yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that would, be quite that would be a little <laughs> too soon. Yeah. Yes. No, two Your tears are fine, sweetheart. That's part of the healing. But I also know, too, that you all do a little something in his honor on Easter. Yeah, we do. Yes. Yes. He's like, he's, I have to say he's laughing, he's making a joke. <laughs> I went the day Jesus Christ was That's, what, that's what Jesus we said. and I were like this. <laughs> that's exactly what we said when he passed. <laughs> he's making a joke. He's a riot. Oh, that's funny. He says, I ruled with a firm hand, just like she said, but yeah. he knew how to, how, how to sh laugh and have a he big had, heart. He was a, he was a jokester. <laughs> yeah, he was definitely a jokester. He loved his jokes. But um, I also feel like uh, I want to have a beer and a smoke sometimes with him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I see a glass also earlier with scotch in it or something. And I don't know if that's grandpa or dad. But it feels like that he amber liquid beer. clinking yeah. the ice yeah, cubes. Yeah, no, he liked his beer. I yeah, yeah ice he, cubes. Was a, he was a beer man. Yeah. But I, um, yeah. I also want to uh, put cars with him. I wonder what. Cars? Like it, fixing cars or interested in cars? A liking of cars. Maybe that's the brother. Like the old cars. Yeah. But I can't Nettie, really. Nettie. Okay, um, I have a little lady here, an older woman in spirit, who definitely liked handwork. She knitted or she did something like with handiwork. She's rocking in the chair. I feel like she's with. It, it might be your mom's side of the family, actually. It might be. I didn't know m her that well. My mother's. I want to say tried. a name like Nitty or Ninny or. Gah, it's like that, like a, a grandma cute nickname, and she's and she's actually knitting and she's rocking back and forth in the chair. She has little glasses on. Oh yeah! Oh, I can't remember what I I, could, I couldn't even tell Nanny. you what I called her. Nanny. Isn't that awful? Okay. No, it's not awful. Um, Gray hair scooped up in a knot on the top of her head. <laughs> you know, I mean, this is what she and it's kind of fuzzy on the sides. Um, anyway, she's very she's very also very orderly and likes things done just so. She was into education. Oh, she cared about education. She would want her you know the kids to ha go to school and do well and do their schoolwork. Uh -huh. But also, surrounding your father, he's talking about the month of September that would be significant in your family. September. Or something's coming up in September. Maybe something's coming up. No September. birthday, no anniversary, no passing birthday, September. No. Then just keep no. an just eye out keep an September. eye on it. Yes, All right. yes please. Yes. Around the 15th. All right. Some sort of transition. Positive. Oh. And is there any boy in the family called Matthew or? On my Matthew? side, no. No, no Matthew. Okay. I get a lot of names, and I never know if it's the people there, the people here, yeah, or the people yeah. they knew there, or the people mm -hmm. they know here. Matthew. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Okay. Watch me leave, and I'll be like, oh, Matthew. But I, I do know, because your father's telling me, he keeps bringing me back to your children. I do know that he adored your children. Yeah. And if you could pass some love and blessings to them. And who plays from baseball? Him. My the nephew. Baseball. The nephew. There's a little boy he's talking about. Oh, it's better, yeah, my nephew. It has okay. to be my nephew. Okay, yeah. okay. Crack. I hear the bat. <laughs> the bat cracking. Yeah, they, the ball. they loved the Red Sox and Yankees. They had this rivalry, I guess you could say. Yes, and he's showing me a memory, Deb, of taking your little hand, um, walking with you when you're very, very young. You and your brother. I feel like you're on the shore maybe the beach, I don't know if you guys went to the Cape and stuff or New Hampshire, but mm -hmm. there's, um, uh, th he's holding out, his, he has a wide, strong hand, a little fleshy, and he held, holds his hand out and takes your little hand, you're in like a little white, I don't know, cottony dress or something. Mm -hmm. There may be a photograph actually that you can check about that. Um, of the two of you, I, I feel like I'm seeing your backs walking away from me. I, I just think it's a message to say, you know, my, my, my little angel. I think he worked very hard. Um, he yeah. wasn't. He home was a, a very hard no, worker. No, he wasn't home a lot. He wasn't <coughs> home a lot. No. He was a very, very hard worker. Um, you guys got me a mess. But that's why he liked <laughs> to kick back and have fun. Oh no, I don't have. Oh, fun. that's all right. <laughs> Do you get anything unres Was there an unresolved issue somewhere about his passing? 
I'm hearing oh, yeah. unresolved. Oh, yeah. Yes. Can you get anything about yep. that? Because all I get is it's unresolved. Like there's the medication or the nurses, something is not clear. I don't think the full story is known. Oh. I feel like the full story is not known. About how he passed mm. or what caused the passing. Do you understand that? I do. It was, kind of, it was very quick. It was very quick and it was very hard to wrap our heads around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, there was, oh. there was really no... Uh, long illness or anything no. like no, that. No, it was, just it was very sudden. fast. And, and I'm, I definitely know I'm with the heart, um, but also I want to say like aneurysm or something with the brain or the blood, clotting, the blood, yeah. something the blood, with the blood leukemia, not right. Yeah, leukemia. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, you know, the message from yeah, dad and message. Nan, uh, grandma, is they're, they're very, very, very proud of you and but uh, they're very interested in in your children they keep talking about the children and, and how you know it's one of each yes no nope. two boys no nope, two girls two girls two, two girls, girls. Okay. okay so yeah so there nan is around those two girls a lot but mm. uh, your father looks at them as their little his little sunshines uh, as he does you and he's also wanting you to know please understand I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I didn't suffer like you would imagine. It was very quick and I'm grateful for that. And he also wants you to watch out for your mom and, you know, give her support and love. Right. Um, and watch for the signs and symbols because he's trying every day. He yeah, knows that he, he wants you to know he's okay. Right. So thank you for oh. willing to be here. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <Thank me. laughs> and, you know, if you can, if you want to take a reading deeper, you can contact either one of us. We're on the internet. We're everywhere. Oh, and we right. work together. Going to. <laughs> yeah. Have a wonderful day. And thank you. Thank you and so much. And that's our honor reading. Thank you for that's watching. Let's make a Welcome back. Wasn't that fantastic? You ladies were great with Deb and reaping and reaping. I should have tissues here. Yes, we should. Thank you we should. so Definitely have to much. Stop the well, tissues. Anyway, we came back and we promised you that we would tell you what Deb picked of these three psychic challenge objects either the green glass, the bling, or the pearl box. So, Deb, what did you pick? I picked the pretty pearls. Wow, so if you pick the pretty pearls, that means you're tuning in. And if not, tune in next time and see if you your intuition is working on it. So, great. Well, that's wonderful. Now, Deb, how can people get in touch with you? Well, they can go to my website, which is www.debivmedium.com. Deb Live. Deb right. Live. And, and what's happened name. is throughout the half hour, it was yep. coming up And I want to give a quick shout out that sure. Deb and I do fundraisers together, and we are doing a fundraiser for cancer for right. Nelly. It's Nelly. Pray for Nelly. Pray for uh, Nelly. If you're interested, it is May twenty third in Fall River, May twenty third. Yep, and you can find details on Facebook at it's Pray for Nelly fundraiser with Deborah Livingston and Catherine, Catherine Glass. Glass. That's yeah. fantastic. That's great. Help wow, it will be so much fun. Cause. Come on out. Yes. Well, again, we couldn't do this great show again, ladies. Thank you so much. We couldn't do this without our sponsors. Thank you so much, Commerce Bank, TJ Woods Insurance. Also, Hillside Meadows. Do you know we have an equestrian center right in our backyard? Oh, nice. Julio's Liquors. Spirit meets spirit. spirit. <laughs> also, YMCA and... Akiri Moda. Akiri Moda. Christian, thank you so much for making us all look fantastic. And Sal, you're cool, too. <laughs> so, thanks, <laughs> thanks so much, lady. Thank, thank you. You can also catch us on pararocktv.com every Wednesday at 9 o'clock, and you can mm -hmm. chat with us all over the world. Yeah. Thanks. So thanks so much and thank you have so a much. great spring and a summer. See you next time. Yeah. Let's make a soul connection. Soul to soul connection. Heart to heart. Make a start with the soul connection. Soul connection. Soul to soul.
so